this is the latest video of my 8088 homebrew computer. What I've done lately is I've put, <clears throat> I've enabled my interrupt controller and I added a VT82C42N PS2 mouse keyboard controller. I also wrote a simple command line and it's not very fancy it doesn't do too much all it does right now well it it only has two commands clear and my memory dump program called memdump so I'll type memdump and there we go. Try to adjust the focus here. It's probably the best I'm going to get. Here's the oops. If you press H, it'll bring up help. So so far I only have J for down, K for up, Q is quit, zero takes you to the beginning of the segment and the dollar sign takes you to the bottom and if you've ever used vi or vim those probably seem kind of familiar and that was why I chose those so that you don't really have to take your hand off the home row very much so press escape to return so you just press j to go forward in memory Press K to scroll up or to go backwards in memory. And right there, that's my vector for my uh, 20H um, interrupt, which which processes the the keyboard uh, button presses. Oh, press Q to quit that. Uh, if you type something that's not a command, it will not find it. It'll say command not found. So you just hit type in clear, and that clears the screen. Now I'll show you a little closer view of my computer. There is the CPU. One hundred and twenty eight kilobyte ROM. One hundred twenty eight kilobyte SRAM chips, for a total of three hundred eighty four kilobytes of SRAM. Eventually, I plan to use the the full one megabyte of the eighty eighty eight's memory map. my interrupt controller. That's my 
PS2 keyboard and mouse controller. I first discovered this controller on um, on an old motherboard that I had from a, a Pentium 100 megahertz computer. Um, that was on the that was on the motherboard. Um, it must have been the first version of this because um, I don't remember what it said on it, but uh, I just remember it was an older version. This is a little bit more updated, but it was still made back in '95. Uh, I think the same as the other one. This is these are my uh, <clears throat> oops these are my control signal uh, demultiplexers. The 138s are really handy for that. They're one of my favorite chips. The uh, 8255 programmable peripheral interface. If it'll focus. That's a little homemade PS2 adapter right there. Okay. Uh, this will take a while to scroll through all the 64 kilobytes of the segment, but press 0 to go to the top row, press uh, dollar sign, uh, it's kind of hard to do this with that close zoomed in, there we go. That's my uh, interrupt vector for the 20H interrupt 32. The first 32 interrupts are reserved by Intel. So uh, 32 or 20H in hexadecimal is the first interrupt that that uh, programmers are supposed to be free to use. You can use the any of the interrupts in the first 32, but um, just know that your code might not be forward compatible if you want to use DOS on it. Well, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the video.